I'm Alex and this is Frank. This is my grandpa Bill. And uh, we're out here at the Gunsight Ranch here in Tech West Texas. And this is our cattle operation. All right, how's it going YouTube? Today we're gonna talk a little bit about what we do for flight control and to give minerals, added minerals to our cattle. So the product we're talking about today is the Purina Wind and Rain light control storm formula now real quickly the reason it's called storm formula is because this stuff with water it's not gonna clump up it's gonna stay similar to this consistency and the cattle will still eat it it drains out pretty well and it's pretty much the only product that does that on the market so Frank's gonna talk a little bit about um, what the we're not going to get into the minerals so much, but we're going to talk about what uh, those minerals do to help the cattle. Alright, so we got this product because uh, we always want to help our cows out with our fly situation. And it has a bunch of minerals. It's, uh, how much did you say two bags cost? $95. $95 for both of these bags. So we're making a, an investment for our cows' health in order for them that, and, and all the minerals are so that they don't get flies. And it, like Alex said, it's the only product on the market that does it. And uh, I guess we'll keep updating you on the, on the result. Okay. What's up, guys? So about the wind and rain, the way that it works is that when the cows ingest the minerals, uh, it goes through their system. And uh, the way flies work is that they lay their eggs inside cow poop. So what the minerals do is that they basically make it unable for the fly larvas to hatch out of the cow poop so in the long run you're really affecting that fly population by pretty much halting them from re reproducing right at the, the whole process right? yeah real quickly let me show you a real good example over mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. we've got a fresh cow patty and the flies so you can see the flies there they're gonna actually sit on that cow patty and you can see the amount of flies that are on there. They're going to go ahead and throw a bunch of eggs in there and hatch them, try to hatch them out. So we're going to come back in a few weeks and check this out and see what the flies are looking like, see what the fly population looks like. 